Good morning. So uh, today I have a good news for you. PHP 8 has been released on November 26. We are waiting for a long time for PHP 8 and a lot of people are excited. They want to install PHP 8 on AWS and here is a tutorial I am creating. Here I will show you how you can install PHP 8 on your AWS EC2 and then uh, you can run your applications, test your WordPress or any project with PHP 8. So let's not waste time and get started. First, I'm going to launch an instance using Ubuntu 20. So let's go to and choose the AMI Ubuntu 20, select, then uh, choose the free tier, T2 Micro, then uh, choose the IAM role uh, I just create previously. So uh, next, add storage, add tags, I keep it empty security groups I just choose from the web server review and launch yes all looks good launch I have this PPK file so let's go to launches so um, here I am going to use a uh, systems manager to uh, connect to that instance the people who don't know about systems manager uh, it's a kind of like AWS's uh, service which provides you to manage your uh, inventories assets and by inventory you mean EC2 RDS S3 buckets etc you can have um, run command from there you can connect to your instance from there it's a useful utility tool it's like systems management management tools so let's go to systems manager and then uh, we just need to wait while it is being running okay let's go to session manager and here I am going to uh, start a new session the instance is not ready yet it takes some time maybe one or two minutes so just be patient grab a coffee or tea or something and come back in one or two minutes Okay, uh, meanwhile, uh, I have created an article as well in my blog, AWS with Atik. If you like this blog articles, please subscribe uh, to my newsletters to get a discount on my courses. Okay, here I'm going to copy this command. These are all uh, pre-configured and I have tested those commands. So you can just copy and run. No brainer. Sounds good, right? So, uh, yeah, my instance is now showing here. I'm going to connect it, start this session. Let's see um, what happens. Just a moment. We are going to uh, connect to that instance. It is first time, so sometimes it takes time to do this. Just wait while it is ready. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please uh, click the subscribe button. I really get inspired when people subscribe to my channels. And um, if you want to see these kind of tutorials, videos, tech related articles, please stay tuned. Stay connected with my channel, Facebook page, and I will inform you my upcoming things. So um, here it is. I'm going to copy the command paste it here so do a uh, ticket update and let's see if I can run it update. what is this oh uh, is it cached oh, sorry is it cached so I think I uh, just copy the correct one Okay, it is updating. Um, it doesn't take that much time, maybe one or two minutes maximum. That's maximum two minutes, but it's good. You update that when you first launch your instance to have all those packages updated. It's good, it's secured, and then you don't need to worry about. 
Okay, so it's almost done. Then I copy my next command. That's uh, also in my blog. I need to add this repository. Add Epita repository PPA uh, on Redis PHP. So this is the repository which holds the PHP 8 for Ubuntu. Let's copy this. It's Ubuntu and Debian both. You can you can use it if you are using Debian. So Ubuntu is also a Debian series, but if you are using Debian Linux, then you can also copy that. Okay, so um, it's almost done. 92%, 96, 92, 92. It's almost getting there. Just uh, one minute. One or two minutes. Six translations stored. Zero byte. Okay. Okay. There are a lot of things they are updating. Almost there. 93, 95. 97, 99, and that's it. So it fetched around 70 megabytes in one and a half minute. And then uh, it updates those packages. It's all given here. So um, let's wait till it's finished. It looks great to me. To have all those things updated automatically yeah that's done low so I'm going to clear this screen so that you can have a good look and then I paste the command <coughs> have a clear look so do a pt get repository ppa Android PHP so I'm adding this repository so that I can install PHP 8 if I run by default sudo a pt get install PHP it will install PHP 7.4 but now I'm going to install PHP 8 which is um, I just need to add a custom repository. So let's do that. We just press enter. It is uh, updating this repository. Yes, press enter. Okay, <clears throat> it is um, saving this repository paths in my local repository list. And um, hopefully it will be done in one minute. That's maximum time, but sometimes it's earlier based on your CPU um, capacity and memory and RAM. If you have a bigger instance, it might do it faster. But I'm in my free tier, so probably um, it will be one or two minutes maximum. Okay, it is almost done. Let's see. Almost done. It is one twenty seven KP. Mm -hmm. Yes, reading package list twenty one percent. That's it. Done. So <clears throat> I have added the repository list. Now I can just run this command. So do apt get install php 8.4 or i can also have given the command here as well so do it to get install php 8.0 minus y minus y means it's pre-approved bum, bum, bum. yes yes good it is installing I'm having a great feeling. It's PHP 8. Great. I've been waiting for PHP for a long time. I heard it's fast. It's secured. It's modern. It's a big, big improvement compared to PHP 7 series. PHP 7 is now, I think, 7.4. That's the latest series. And then it jumped to 8. PHP 8. So start with, it will start probably 8.0 and then slightly improve. 8.1, 8.2. I think it, it will have a long term support, and uh, I'm just trying to test it with one or two projects and see how it goes. And then I might use it one of my production environments so that um, I can have it, I can feel what will be the changes. I have more than 40 projects, and those all projects, if I'm going to update to PHP 8. That will be a big, big risk. 
so I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is I will just update one by one and see what are the uh, implications what are the challenges and then based on those uh, learning I will apply to the new ones so that they don't have those so hopefully in coming months or maybe six months that's my planning to upgrade all my projects with PHP 8 and I hope I can make the timeline okay um, that's good it's doing it's doing something it's creating the config files with new version I understand so let's wait while it is done Done, done, done. Oh, almost, almost. Yeah. Mm hmm. Creating config files. Opcache. Okay. CLI. Okay. I think we are almost there. That's it. We are done. So now I'm going to uh, restart the server, which is sudo systemctl restart Apache 2. That's it. Now, uh, if I go here and let's see, yes, this is the Apache default page. We are not done yet. We just need to test it. First of all, I'm going to test here with PHP minus V. That's PHP 8. I'm going to create a PHP info file as well. So, sudo vi. Oh, HTML info.php. Then I type here info.php. That's it. So um, this is the page. That's info.php. And I have successfully installed uh, PHP version 8. So that looks great. So that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will create more these kind of videos for you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.